Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be upgrading the storage in my um, UNVR. Um, we are going to be upgrading the drives from two to four terabyte drives, um, all Seagate drives. These are just drives that I've had sitting around. Um, and I kind of realized, I was like, why do I have two terabyte drives when I could have four terabyte drives? And right now I am sitting at about 10 cameras on my UNVR. You'll see I've got another camera back there. Uh, and then I also do have a camera on the way. So I'll be going to 12 cameras pretty soon here. Um, and I want to make sure I have enough storage capacity to be able to record at least a month. Right now I'm getting 28 days, but I'm also doing events only recording, which essentially means that it's only going to record on the cameras when there's motion. So um, I, I would prefer to have continuous recording, which would mean that the cameras record 24 seven. I mean, they still will clip the motion events and stuff. That way it's easier to find. But um, I want to make sure all the events are recorded all the time. So I'm going to see if I can upgrade these storage in my UNVR. So let me show you kind of what this looks like on the NVR. Okay, so this is the screen that kind of shows your storage on your UNVR. So essentially we have three drives. We have three two terabyte drives, giving us four terabytes of total space. Um, and we'll essentially pretty much with this, we'll just be doubling that because we will lose one drive to RAID um, because of the RAID configuration. But um, basically uh, it's approximately 28 days of capacity we have. We've got uh, high quality recordings. Um, we have low quality recordings for my other cameras. Um, and then we have some persistently stored um, media. We have timeline scrubbing unused and system reserves capacity. So you may be wondering, why do I only have three drives instead of the maximum four drives that the UNVR has? Well, this is because uh, I was stupid a couple years back and I actually tried to put a SAS drive into my UNVR, essentially breaking that SATA slot. I kind of bent it back. So uh, I've tried to bend it forward and push the drive in. It, it doesn't work. It just says the drive needs repair or something. Um, no matter what drive I put in there, which is kind of odd, but um, it is what it is. So instead of adding another drive that's two terabytes to get more capacity, I'm going to have to upgrade all of the drives to a higher capacity, which honestly is fine. I have these drives sitting around, like I said, it's not a big deal. Um, but what I do want to see in this video, um, and this is why I'm making this into a whole video. Um, typically, I would not do a small storage upgrade into a whole video, but um, I did read somewhere online, I don't remember where, uh, that you can actually slowly upgrade the storage on your UNVR. So essentially if, what you can do is you can do one drive at a time, uh, essentially like flipping them out, it'll remap uh, the RAID configuration or whatever. Um, and then as you do one drive at a time, at the end, when you have all drives of the same capacity, if you reboot your NVR, uh, it'll actually reallocate the storage or something like that and essentially grow your RAID pool. Um, that way you can get more storage on there. So that might be completely wrong. And if it is, that's totally fine. I can reformat the RAID pool anyways. I don't care about the recordings necessarily but I want to see if I can keep the recordings uh, by just upgrading one drive at a time. So let's go do that. I'm not sure why I have one Exos drive and the others are Iron Wolf NAS drives, but we'll do this one first. So I'm gonna go down to the server room and we'll take a look at this. All right, so now that we are in the server room, you'll see it is slot two, or I guess slot number one, if you count that as zero. Uh, slot number one that is broken. So I'm just going to, to grab slot zero, pull this drive out, let it stop spinning. Uh, and then we can install a new drive. So um, I believe I actually didn't use any screws on these drives. Ah, oh, dang it, I did. Okay, I'm going to unscrew that first. So for those of you who don't know, they do have a toolless drive installation method to where you don't actually have to do any screws. Um, I just apparently added the screw just for safekeeping. I'm not quite sure why I added this, but it does kind of snap in. So um, you'll see here, if you pull on this tab, that's how you take the drive out. So you could essentially do this without a screw. I, I apparently did um, add a screw. Um, but then to put it back in, you just kind of do the same thing, except you'll put this tab on this side and you'll just let it click into place. Um, you kind of, I don't know if you heard that snap there, but essentially the drive is just on the tray now. Um, and then I will be a good person and I will put this screw back with the drive as well. So just the same thing as before, just going to slide this back in. And you will see that light is now blinking fast now, which probably means that it is adding it to the pool, but let's go back to the computer and we'll check it out. I always forget how thin these two terabyte drives are. Like you can see that. And then here's how thick a four terabyte drive is. Like it's almost like they just like stack the platters together, two versus four. Okay, so now it says repairing storage. Do not power off your UNVR or remove any drives. System is running normally, but performance may be affected. Larger capacity or multi-drive setups may take longer. Cool, so this is the screen I was looking for earlier, actually. So you'll see that it's going to take about six hours to remap the RAID configuration. So in about six hours, we'll come back uh, and try to see if we can do another drive. And six hours after that, we'll do another drive. All right, so I have no idea what time it finished because I never got an alert, but the sword is done resyncing. 
which means it's time to put the drive into the UNAS. So just like last time, it's gonna be the same process. I don't know if you can hear me, but I have the drive ready to go in. My phone ran out of storage. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna slide the drive in and we'll let the storage resync. So as it's resyncing the RAID array now, um, because I've added the third four terabyte drive, uh, the storage capacity actually continues to go up and it's going to continue going up probably until it gets to about eight terabytes. I apologize again for these late night clips, uh, but that is all I have for this video. Um, I'm also losing my voice, so I'm gonna end this video off, but thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about how the um, UNVR storage upgrade went, um, please let me know in the comments below. Like I said, that's all. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video.